In this video, I'm gonna be talking about 10 things you need to know about Granville, Michigan, and we're getting after it right now. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your good buddy, Jimmy Cagle, right here in the Grand Rapids Metro. Uh, if this is your first time to my channel, I do a ton of videos all about Grand Rapids, the Grand Rapids Metro, West Michigan in general, all about what it's like to live, eat, uh, you know, go to church if you want to, uh, go have fun if you want to, all the things to do, just anything to live and work and have fun around the Grand Rapids Metro, we talk about it on this channel. And if there's something I haven't talked about, let me know and I'll do a video on that as well. Uh, please subscribe um, by uh, clicking that uh, subscribe button and then also tap that little bell so you're notified each and every time I drop a new video. And I honestly, I've just been helping so many people that are relocating and buying and selling real estate in the Grand Rapids Metro and I absolutely love it. So if you're thinking of buying um, or selling in the Grand Rapids Metro or you're moving here from somewhere, um, other, uh, some, from somewhere else in the country, if I can get it out, <laughs> I'm here to help you out. Um, so give me a call, give me an email. You can see my number right there, my email. Um, I'll get a hold of you or give me a comment below and I can contact you that way. However you want to get a hold of me, I've got your back when you're moving to West Michigan. Hey, so we're talking about 10 things you need to know, 10 things, uh, when you're moving to Granville, uh, Michigan. So number one, uh, Granville has the only Cabela's in the entire uh, west and central part of the state. The only other Cabela's is in Detroit. So it was a really big deal to get Cabela's because that's like a, a, you know, a huge state draw. People love it. It's the largest, um, you know, it's like Bass Pro Shops, like one of the largest sports stores you can get at or you can go to. They've got, you know, boating, all kinds of things. So you can tell by this video right here uh, all about it and I'll show you what it's like to uh, actually be at Cabela's. Hey, another thing you didn't know about uh, Granville is they have a Cabela's here, which is kind of a big deal because there's only one in Michigan and it's all the way on the east side of the state, Detroit, which isn't near as cool as the west side, <laughs> in my opinion. But uh, yeah, so it was a big deal. I mean, it's not the, they have like a couple variations. It's one, it's the, I think medium version, but you can see it's still pretty huge and it goes way, it starts over here and goes way back over there. And it's huge when you're inside it. So it's pretty awesome. And just going in there, you can't, anything you can think of for the outdoors, I mean, camping, any kind of hunting, any kind of fishing, boats, four wheelers, uh, just you name it, they've got it, and it's really cool. And then because that's a big anchor, what that's done is help get, then you've got, you know, strip center here, strip center there, another strip center over there, there's a target. So it's really been good for the area and, uh, you know, getting people to come here to uh, Granville. Number two, Granville has a great school system. Granville Community, uh, Granville Community Schools were scored eight out of 10. Let's see, it's called by the Great Schools, which rates your school based on national test, and that's that's really good at nationwide. And everybody I've talked to or that's moved there has loved the school system. I would personally send my kids there in a heartbeat. Uh, they just have great schools. They're really diverse. They're great in sports. Uh, they have great education, and uh, just a great place to uh, to send your kids for a great education and have a lot of fun. Yeah, Granville schools are so good. The city just approved a hundred and twenty three million dollar bond just to build and create more schools and increase the capacity of the schools they have just because it's growing so fast. Because in part of that growing population, uh, Granville has about 19,000 people in 2018 and they've already added about a thousand more um, from what they're saying um, in 2000 or in 2020. So they're definitely growing along with the schools and everything else. Uh, just a great community and obviously if it's growing that fast, it must be a pretty great place to live. So number four, uh, Granville has an awesome park called Millennial Park. Um, you can see by some of these pictures right here, there's a ton to do. It's got gorgeous beaches. It's got the, um, you can see the lake right there that you can, the, there's people boating and canoeing and just having a ton of fun. And it's a huge uh, park. Um, Millennial Park uh, is one of the largest urban parks in the entire country. It's got 1,400 acres 
of total acreage and the beach alone is six acres. It's actually in like three cities. That's how big this park is. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. I mean, you can go there and get tan, get sun, and it's right in the right by all the cities. So it's pretty cool. Um, they also have like concession stands, you know, with food, uh, you know, hot dogs, uh, pop, other cold drinks. They have really nice uh, pavilions that you can uh, just use if you're a leisure, or you can actually run them out. Like if you're going to have a, you know, a family reunion or a wedding. I would have my wedding there, but I know some people, some people do. So whatever's your pleasure. But uh, um, there you go, so that's number four. Uh, number five, Granville, just like the rest of West Michigan, uh, has got really intense winters. Uh, they get, you know, 66 inches of snow, just like GR, so you better have your snowblower ready to rock and roll and move some snow so you don't get stuck. Number six, uh, there's a lot of Dutch people in Granville. <laughs> people always talk about when I move here, like kind of like how there's a ton of Dutch people, so you do see a lot of Blonde hair, blue eyed, uh, tall, good looking people, which is a plus, but you know, it's overstated. I mean, there's, it's a really diverse uh, community. You got a ton of people there uh, from all, all uh, ethnicities. I have a hard time saying that word, um, but you get a ton of people from that. But you do get, there's a lot of Dutch people, and you'll see a lot of blonde people. And I've had friends come from Lance area where I'm from and say, man, I went to the mall there and there was just tons of tall blonde people. So it's kind of funny, but that's they're known for that. There you go. So number seven, there are a ton of churches, but you know, because there's a lot of Dutch people, you do get the Dutch Christian reform, but all there's a church for every denomination you can think of. So, uh, you know, you're taken care of if you want church. If you don't go to church, no one's gonna come up to you and say, hey, you're living in Granville, why aren't you going to church? So don't worry about it. But there are also, because there's a lot of church, there's a couple, there's more than a couple mega churches. So right now we're gonna look at one right here. Um, I'm gonna show you, this is just, I'm driving around it right now. And you can just see how large this church is. And none of this is even the school. This is just the church and all the um, activities and management and uh, um, for the clergy for the church. So it's, uh, it's pretty huge. <laughs> so a little different than a Catholic church like what I go to, but anyways, great place. I've always heard great things about it. And I just wanted to give you an idea of how big some of these churches are. All right, number eight. Um, yeah, so another thing you didn't know about, I forgot my glasses, about uh, Granville is the Grand Castle, which I, you know, I've told you I'm a builder. This was built by a company right down the road there called Kirkstrup uh, Precast. And so, you know, they make concrete, like for a building, they would, they make the sections that you can just, you know, put in the walls, it goes up a lot quicker, but it's really expensive. This whole apartment complex uh, called the Grand Castle is all built by Precast. It took them like two years. I can't imagine the fire, the fire rating they'd have because obviously concrete doesn't burn. So every wall, interior wall, exterior wall, the ceiling, the floor, everything is precast concrete. So it's a pretty cool place and it took forever, but I guess it's doing really well and clearly they're going with the castle theme. I don't know if that's cool or not, but that's what they did. So that's another thing uh, about Granville is uh, there's a sweet castle-like uh, apartment complex. Number nine, Grand, uh, Granville has uh, tons of uh, really cool community events. Uh, you got the Farmer's Market, the Tree Lighting Christmas Parade, Fall Festival, 4th of July, and too many, other, uh, um, too, uh, too many others to name. So uh, Fall Fest is a celebration of local businesses where they got, they got, you know, it's like for a weekend and they've got, um, if the kids can go to it, they've got uh, live music, which is awesome. They've got uh, the Jack Pine Lumberjack Show, which is a huge, huge lumberjack show that's from up in the UP. That's really cool, I've seen it. Uh, they travel all over the country, actually. It's a really cool show. They got, um, you know, tents for, um, you know, making clown faces and painting the kids up and just having a good time. Uh, what else they have? They've got uh, chili cook-off, all kinds of things. It's just a great weekend to spend with the family and a lot of fun for, for everybody. Um, I can't remember if they had a beer tent there, but I'm pretty sure they do. If not, you can go and have fun, and there's some uh, bars and restaurants pretty close to have a couple beverages if you want. But uh, yeah, it's just a great place. So, and in closing, uh, number 10, the best thing about uh, Granville is it's right in the center of uh, Grand Rapids Metro. So you're maybe 
20 minutes, 15, 18 minutes to Lake Michigan, you're 10 minutes to um, uh, downtown Grand Rapids, um, and then all the other cities, you're right there. It's all centrally located. So that's one of the cool things about Granville is you're not too far from anywhere, but it still has its own community feel, but you're, you know, within, again, 20 minutes or you're in Holland and Lake Michigan having a great time, or you're uh, 10 minutes away from downtown Grand Rapids and doing all the, everything you do down in Grand Rapids, you know, the concerts and all the extra restaurants and all those things. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there's a lot to do in Granville. It's a great place to raise a family. And if you're single, there's a lot to do there as well. Um, so if you have any questions, please give me a comment. And in closing, you know, I'm right here in the Grand Rapids area, the Grand Rapids Metro. Uh, I'm a realtor. I love helping people out. Uh, if you have any questions, it doesn't have to be real estate related. I'm happy to answer those for you. If you have any real estate questions uh, about buying or selling here in the Grand Rapids area, let me know. I'm here to help you out. You can see my number right here and my email. Uh, contact me any way you want, and I'll do everything I can to uh, service you in any way I can. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.